I always enjoyed my science lab classes, um, so I enjoyed doing the science. I didn't really enjoy the theory. <laughs> It's very important that you are curious, that you have a desire to learn. It's very important that you are detail-oriented. Organization is key. I am a quality control associate. Uh, the entry-level position for this job is typically a quality control assistant. Uh, at other companies you might see a quality control technician or a lab technician, chemical analyst, chemical technician. My responsibilities come into play during all of the different phases of the manufacturing process. Uh, so we test the raw materials, components, things like that going into the manufacturing process. We want to test any intermediates during the uh, manufacturing process and then we want to always test our finished product to make sure that um, it's within specifications. There's quite a bit of variation in what I do. Um, some days I will spend the entire day at the computer writing SOPs. You will see SOPs or standard operating procedures for pretty much every process in the lab. Other days when we are starting to develop an assay, um, I will spend time um, researching on the computer, pulling journal articles and looking at, at different assays that have been done, similar processes. I will spend time talking on the phone to um, technical support at various vendors uh, to line up maybe product demonstrations or to get advice from them on how to develop the process. Um, other days I'm simply running tests that we have already designed and put together. So there's, there's quite a bit of variability in what I do. My responsibilities come into play during all of the different phases of the manufacturing process. Uh, so we test the raw materials, components, things like that going into the manufacturing process. We want to test any intermediates during the uh, manufacturing process and then we want to always test our finished product. When you're making a product that um, you know would typically be given to sick people or immunocompromised people or, or any person, it's very important that there's little to no room for error. There's little to no room for somebody to um, kind of make their own decision as to how something should be done or, or alter a process or anything. You want to make sure that you are extremely consistent, that you are doing things the same way over and over and over again to ensure the accuracy of your results. Anywhere in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, you need to have people that are checking your process along the way and making sure that it's going according to specification. You'll also see quality control departments in um, any sort of food production or animal health care products, plant products. Any sort of manufacturing process is going to require a, a quality control department. With the entry level position, the quality control assistant, uh, you can go into that with an associate's degree. Uh, you can start out as a quality control associate with a bachelor's degree, which is what I did. So I have a bachelor's degree in animal science, actually. In college, I, I chose a life sciences program uh, that was all-encompassing. So I got to take more biology classes, chemistry, organic chemistry. Um, I took microbiology, biochemistry, uh, genetics. So I really enjoyed my lab classes and I knew that I wanted a career where I was helping people in some way. And so I feel like this career is perfect because I'm able to help people, um, you know, I'm able to uh, contribute, which is nice. This video was developed by NCABR, a nonprofit science education organization. Funding provided by the Biogen IDEC Foundation in support of innovative ways to promote science literacy and encourage young people to consider science careers. Filmed at the Golden Leaf Biomanufacturing Training and Education Center at NC State University in Raleigh.